UFC Macau, Yan vs. Figueiredo took place on November 23rd at Galaxy Arena in Macau, China. The gate number was not released, but the event brought in millions in sponsorships and merchandise sales, not to mention the UFC's broadcasting deal with ESPN, which pulls $300 million a year. But how big of a slice did the fighters take home? International commissions typically don't disclose fighter pay information, so while Venom sponsorship and fight bonuses are officially released, the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projections based on disclosed earnings from previous events. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Kicking off the main card, it was an early night for light heavyweight Zhang Mingyang as he dropped Ozzy Diaz with a left elbow right on the nose. Mingyang pounced on his injured opponent and delivered vicious ground and pound to finish the fight at just 2 minutes and 25 seconds in the very first round, making it his 18th first round finish and handing him the TKO victory. Diaz, in his UFC debut, made $10,000 to show and $4,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, for a total of $14,000. While Ming Yong, on his second fight with the promotion, brought in $12,000 to show and $12,000 for the win, along with $4,000 in sponsorship and a well-deserved $50,000 performance of the night bonus for $78,000 on the night. The second fight started fast as Vulcan Uzdemir and Carlos Olberg let the fist and kicks fly in the first round of their light heavyweight bout. While the first round was very close, Olberg pulled away in the second and third, catching Uzdemir with the harder shots and opening a cut on the bridge of his nose. Uzdemir was unsuccessful in taking the fight to the ground, and while overall it was a competitive fight, Carlos Olberg came away with the unanimous decision victory. The former title challenger Vulcan Uzdemir brought in $125,000 to show and $11,000 in sponsorship and took home $136,000. While Olberg made $53,000 to show and another $53,000 for the win, along with $6,000 in sponsorship pay, for a total of $112,000. The third fight saw the undefeated Wong Tong take on fellow flyweight and biggest underdog on the card, Gabriela Fernandez. After a competitive first half of the fight, in which the commentators glazed Tong for her renowned striking ability, Fernandez shocked the crowd by dropping Tong with a left hand and quickly taking her back. She locked in a tight rear naked choke, putting her opponent to sleep, and taking the huge upset win. Tong earned $12,000 to show, as well as $4,000 in sponsorship pay, for $16,000 on the night. While Fernandez, on the first fight of her new contract, pulled in $22,000 to show, with another $22,000 for the win, $4,500 in Venom sponsorship, and a $50,000 performance of the night bonus, for a grand total of $98,500. In the fourth fight, welterweight Song Kanan came out to a roaring Chinese crowd in his bout against Muslim Salikov. The opening round saw a kick-heavy attack from Salikov, who's known for his spinning attacks that have resulted in four knockouts during his career. He added another to that tally by blasting Kanan's jaw with a spinning wheel kick less than four minutes into the fight and earning the KO victory. Kanan made $64,000 to show and $11,000 in sponsorship pay for a total of $75,000. And the winner, Muslim Salikov, earned $61,000 to show and another $61 for the win, $11,000 in sponsorship, and as you might expect, a 50k performance of the night bonus, totaling $183,000. The co-main event saw former title challenger Yan Xiaonan look impressive on the feet against her strawweight opponent, Tabitha Ricci. Ricci was unable to take the fight to the ground apart from a brief moment in the second round, and Xiaonan rocked her with several hard shots throughout the fight while staying just out of range of Ricci's strikes. After three rounds, it was a clear victory for Yan Xiaonan, and she took the unanimous decision win. Ricci brought in $51,000, along with $6,000 in Venom sponsorship, and took home $57,000. While Zhao Nan earned $75,000 to show and $75,000 for the win, $11,000 in sponsorship, bringing her total to $161,000 on the night. Only 7% of the people watching this video are subscribers, so if you're enjoying the content and want to keep up with all the latest videos, take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And finally, in the main event of the evening, former Bantamweight champion Pyotr Jan defeated the former two-time flyweight champ Davison Figueredo over five rounds for the unanimous decision win. Davison had his moments, including a fourth round knockdown that according to Jan's own words, had him seeing fireworks. But overall, Jan was the sharper striker and cruised to victory, taking every round on all three judges' scorecards.
As for the former flyweight champion Davison Figueredo, he earned $115,000 to show, and as explained by Brendan Allen at UFC Paris, main events and five round fights earn fighters an extra 25%, which for Figueredo comes out to another $29,000, along with $16,000 in Venom sponsorship, for $160,000 on the night. While the winner Pyotr Jan raked in $120,000 to show and $120 for the win, a main event bonus of $60,000, $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, and a grand total of $311,000. That's all for this episode. Any corrections to the numbers I've shown will be listed in a pinned comment below. As always, thanks for watching. See you in two weeks for UFC 310 Pantoja vs. Asakura.